Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be going over 2023 tips and tricks for Gang Beast. Today we're going to be going over 5 tips and tricks for you guys that anyone can do with a little bit of practice. We'll be breaking it down and how to do it and I think this is going to be a really good video for you guys. If you guys learned something new, remember to leave a like down below so other people can see the video. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos and leave a comment down below if you guys want certain videos in the future please leave some suggestions and we will look at them all the moves today are going to be brought to you by people in the comment section so please leave a comment down below we look at each one and it can be featured in a future video so let's get into the video guys okay guys so for the first move we have for this 2023 gang beast list is called the anti-halo it is a pretty simple move what you guys are going to want to do is spam your grab button which on xbox is lb and rb you're going to want to hold x and b together x and b hold and then spam y and press a and then it performs the anti-halo move and i will show you right now what that looks like oh. Okay guys, as you can see from our showing of the move, it is a really high powerful move that knocks out your opponent really fast. It's called the anti-halo. Um, if you guys have any questions about it, leave it in the comments below. But as I said before, you're spamming the grab button, you're holding X and B, you're spamming Y and you press A once. So basically you're going to be doing kind of a diving headbutt at them while punching and just press A once so you can just lift off into the ground and make sure to be holding X and B. and the only buttons you're going to be spamming guys are Y and then your punch buttons or the grab buttons and then you're going to be holding X and B while pressing A. So after you guys get it down it's going to be really easy to do and it may take a little bit of time you can practice it in some custom games but I think this is a really powerful move to do while running at somebody so give it a go guys and let us know how it goes. Okay guys so the next move we have in our 2023 tips and tricks list is how to get over ledges really fast. And I think this is probably the best way to get over ledges. Um, I found this out a little bit ago. Um, I saw some other people commenting in the comment section, so I just thought it would be something to cover in this video. So what I like to do when getting over ledges, so let's say I'm right here, and I want to get over this ledge. A really powerful way, a really good, easy way to get over this ledge is you're going to be holding the ledge with both hands. So it's LB and RB for Xbox. And then you're gonna want to hold A and B, and this is gonna lift your guy into the air, kind of like that. Okay, let me get back up because my grip is falling. So hold your grab buttons, hold A and B, which is gonna lift your guy into the air. And then you're gonna move your left joystick to get this guy and his legs over the other side. So you're gonna wanna have to get up to the top, hold the L, hold with both hands, Okay, and then just move, maneuver your guy's body using your joystick over to the other side, just like that. Get to the top, maneuver the guy, get over. Okay, so hold both, both hands, hold LB and RB, hold A and B, and it's going to put your guy into the air, and use your left joystick to move around. This can be used on any type of ledge, guys. It's really, really fast and easy, and if you do it quick, you can get over without them knocking you out, because I know a lot of people try to knock you out while trying to get over ledges. Um, another way to get over is using our, the rocket launch technique, which I covered in another video, which is basically holding LB and A and RB, and then spamming A, so LB and RB and spamming A. That doesn't work as well as the other method I just showed you right now, where you hold with both buttons, and then you hold A and B and maneuver your guy. You can also hold just with one hand. Um, I would prefer holding with two because it's a little bit easier to... I would prefer holding with two because it's a little bit easier to get over the other side if you hold with two because you have a little bit more control. But that is it for this tip. Let's go on to number three. Okay guys, so tip number three in our list is another move suggested by our viewers and it is called the slam down. 
So to perform this move, guys, it is it is pretty simple. So the basic cost concept before we tell you the buttons is that you're going to be holding on to them. You're going to launch yourself into the air and then come down and headbutt them. So what you're going to need to do for this is to hold them. Uh, the person who wrote this says it works better from the front. So you're going to want to hold them from the front. Okay. Then you're going to spam A to jump into the air. And then while you're coming down, you want to press B, then hold B. So it's going to look something like this, guys. Um, when you get the timing down, you can do it really well and come down and hit them. It's, easy, it's a really easy beginner move. It's not too complicated. Um, you got to make sure you don't go in front of the guy, like this has been happening to me. But it's not too complicated, and just like that, you can see how powerful it is. It does one hit KO because of the headbutt. Um, yeah, but make sure you stay in front of them. Make sure your body doesn't go too far forward. And this is a really fun move. It really isn't that complicated, to be honest. I feel like anybody can do this move. Just make sure you hold on to them. Spam A to jump into the air. And then come down and headbutt. And boom, the guy's knocked out. Let me show you a couple more times. Get to the air, headbutt, come down. Boom. Easy. And once you get a hold of it, I think you can do this really well. Um, they can stop you if they hold you, but I think it's a good move. You can do it from behind, it doesn't really matter where, as long as the headbutt connects just like that. But as you can see, it's really just one hit KOing everybody. Um, so it's a really effective move. Just they can stop it if they do hold you, so just be careful of that. And without, with that being done and out of the way, let's move on to the next tip. The next tip, guys, takes place in the subway map. So the last time I made these, I think I made a video called how to be, how to become a pro in Gang Beast. And one of the tips I mentioned is surviving the subway. See, one of the methods I had was crouching right here along this ledge when it's coming by and that it would stop you from being hit. And I just figured out there's another way to survive the subway and that's by going from the opposite side. So I will show you now on how to stop yourself from being killed from the subway. This is a really effective move. Um, and it's really useful for when you get stuck down here and you can't really get out. Just don't make sure you knock yourself out just like I did. But you're going to want to get up here and just like crouch down. Get along the side. The only problem nowadays with the subway train is that they keep coming at you. So you can survive one and try to get away with it and get back up. But it does get a little harder as more subways start coming. So just remember, get along all along the side. Hold B, it really lowers your body. It makes it so you like you get into the crevices and like these little barriers stop you from just being taken away. But this is needed when you fi figure out that you can't get out. And like I said, I did talk about the previous way of being able to do this. And my guy is stuck now that we're all good. So the other way you can do this, like I talked about in other tips and trick video I made of how to be a pro is to get on this side and crouch down. And let's see if that still works. Yeah, so both ways work. Just remember when you do the subway to get along one of the edges and crouch down by holding B and that will make it so you can survive. And then you can use my other tips and tricks on how to get up by, you know, holding the buttons in A and B like I mentioned earlier to get along this edge of the subway and move yourself up and out. So yeah, you can use those two tips and tricks together by going along the side and crouching down, surviving the subway, then getting out using my getting over the ledge method. And yeah, that's it for this tips and trick. And we'll be moving on to the next one. The next move we have for you guys is suggested by the same person who did the <laughs> slam down move. And this is a dashing grab punch move. So for this one, you are going to be holding X and Y, you're going to be spamming A, and then press B, and then when all that happens, you let go of everything and just grab onto the person. So I will show you what that looks like right now, and it's a really cool move, and it kind of does like a backflip if you do it right, and I think it's really interesting, and it's really fun to do, so I'll show you what it looks like right now. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's a very powerful dashing move, and 
you do it right, you can knock them out and grab onto them at the same time. So it's a really fun move. Just keep trying it out again um, in custom games. Get all these moves down. Make sure you guys practice these. Let us know how it goes. Let us know if you guys like the 2023 tips and tricks videos and want more. We can make more parts to this series and get you guys all knowledgeable about Gang Beast. Mm. Um, if you guys learned something new, remember to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Comment down below if you guys have any tips and tricks you want to see in other videos. And yeah, thank you so much for watching the videos, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.